after a beautiful drive uh, through the passage of green fields homestays here we are this is the garage area and they've got fantastic security two german shepherds one mongrel indi and uh, a dachshund and here is their beautiful home uh, and you can see it's so tastefully done very peaceful it's got an entire place here where you can park park your cars you can see how beautiful it is and uh, here is where i have parked my car and there's a little lawn behind they also have a small area here on the right hand side for uh, a sit out and uh, a bonfire and also uh, a pit here so they can have a bonfire and maybe get served outside if you need to then they also have a dining area here which is uh, which is right here next to the rooms for the guests and we'll just walk around here and see this is a nice little secluded outdoor dining we can see here and uh, see this is where it is so they this is where they serve the guests and uh, we have drinking water here and uh, here is where the owners park their vehicle and here are the rooms we'll walk you through the rooms in a short while but here look at the end parking space open space you can play you can have a lot of stuff and in the in this area where i showed you the sit out was that is where they have a bonfire and uh, you can also have music this is a nice facility for music so now let's walk in and take a look at this place however we've got to take off our shoes and footwear before we go in so there's a sign here these are some of the places that you can visit when you're here muliyangiri which is 30 kilometers from here it's the highest peak in chikmangaluru then there is devar mane which is a scenic spot a nice point and also has uh, a temple and then uh, there are some falls like charmadi kalasa which is uh, 55 kilometers kudremukh which is a, a kind of a forest area mangalore the main city in karnataka is 100 kilometers away shringeri where there is an ancient temple uh, so that's also possible many 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 waterfalls on the way especially during monsoon you can see how beautifully they have uh, put some curios here made it even look even better these are where the rooms are you can see a little bit of seating that they've created here uh, outside so you know you can have casual seating and not be confined to the room always and uh, let's take a look at one of the rooms here we kept our footwear out and now we enter the room we just switch on the power supply and you can see it's meant more like a mini dormitory where you have I think roughly about seven beds that I can see here. Uh, one is a slightly larger one, maybe a, a double bed. And they've got a nice tea boy, a mini coffee table here. And uh, as you can see, they have a mirror, and uh, they have they also have uh, you know points to hang your clothes. One is here, and uh, one is on this side of the room, as we can see. And of course, I think I saw behind the door as well. So yes, they've got good places. Uh, they have a fan as well. And uh, let's see how the bathroom is. Let's step inside and uh, switch on the light. They have a wash basin right here. Uh, Floor mounted, they have a towel rack, clothes hanger, then they have uh, uh, yes, a little shelf 
the corner there for your soap and shampoo, a shower, uh, a single lever water outlet here and of course an English toilet with a spray for those who are concerned and a tissue holder. So yeah, pretty, pretty well done. And what is good is uh, they have a tiled roof so we can see tiled roof uh, here as well inside the bathroom with uh, natural lighting so even if the light is put off you have ambient lighting within and uh, let's move out to show you the roof you can see the roof it's full of the tiles and uh, they also have uh, glass on the ceiling between the tiles so there is ample amount of light that can come in so pretty decent and uh, the weather here is absolutely uh, chill so you can enjoy this weather throughout the year uh, right now it is about 19 degrees 18 degrees with good amount of rain outside you can see it's cloudy and raining but yeah so it's pretty nice worth uh, a visit especially if you're a group and uh, if you have a family uh, you can even enjoy you know an entire room to yourself it's pretty nice there's seating here as we can see and uh, in the passage as well so you can have your coffee whatever you can have view of the outside place and we can see the sit out and the place with the bonfire party area and uh, here of course we've got a cabin board so you can see here so here's where the cabin is I'm sure they'll have other games as well so yeah the place is pretty pretty nice pretty decent so there are there's a large room here so I'm sure this is like Five seven people here. There is another one of five seven people. So you can actually count, and then the third one here. So pretty, pretty nice. And uh, I guess it's what the stay. The food is awesome. We'll show you some glimpses of the food uh, when we start dining. And uh, there are a lot of places to visit here. The weather is awesome. Food is awesome. Uh, the air quality index is excellent. I mean, one of the best that you can find anywhere uh, in India. And today's uh, air quality index is just six. So you can see, beautiful. We drove down from Mumbai, which is about uh, 950 kilometers in one straight drive. So the drive as well is fantastic. The roads are amazing. It's worth visiting. Let me just show you an entire glimpse of this place. This is a 64 acre uh, plot and uh, they mainly grow coffee, uh, pepper, areca nut and a uh, few other spices. They also have some few coconut trees, they have jackfruit trees, um, they have a lake downstairs which we'll show you in a short while and um, it's really really beautiful uh, one has to experience this to to feel it and and any time of the year even if you come in summer days are uh, pleasant about 25 uh, to 28 degrees and nights are like uh, 20 degrees uh, winters are pretty cold so the maximum temperature will be something like uh, you know um, 17 18 degrees and minimum is like 10 so again that's beautiful and wind and monsoon of course uh, it rains heavily and the temperature uh, is uh, you know high is about 21 22 and low is about uh, 18 so you can imagine how pleasant and beautiful this place is throughout the year and it's so nice they've got uh, potted plants all over you can see so it adds to the beauty and charm though it's absolutely green everywhere you still have so many potted plants around here. Just look beautiful. So after your dining experience here at this spot here, 
as I mentioned this is like a common open dining area then you can have your wash the wash basin is right here hand wash so you can see so and and that water goes back into you know the the soil area so nothing is wasted here so you can see it's so beautiful we will share the details of this homestay in uh, the description link uh, in the description below so make sure you and we leave some contact numbers as well so you can come here we are, we are not marketing it but we highly recommend this place uh, been here before and uh, since we enjoyed it last time perfect food uh, malnad cuisine uh, ambience is superb the service is super amazing i would i would call them super host so all in all uh, definitely recommended uh, come with your family your friends um, and uh, have a good time i'm signing off from this video for travels and travel this is harold fernandez please like our video subscribe to our channel and please press the bell icon to receive updates of all future videos i sign off for this one thank you very much here we have an insect i, I think it was uh, it's a cricket maybe or some kind but there is little boy here you want who is not afraid of anything including this cricket you can you can hear the sound it making it's crying see 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 can you, can you hear the sound it's actually crying see they it's trying to move it's trying to fly but this little boy is extremely brave and not afraid see watch watch him <laughs> this is his life toy while others want drones and um, remote controlled cars and remote controlled helicopters and planes these are his life toys there see he held it in his hand and watching it at close quarters cuk 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 Yes.